Hey, what's up guys? Benny here and welcome to my top 10 best loadouts for Season 3 Reloaded. There has been a whole ton of weapon changes, which is really going to mix up the game's meta. And some of our favorites, like the XM4, have fallen out of favor after multiple nerfs, including a load of other Modern Warfare weapons, and the health pool being increased to 300, 150 base health, and 150 for your plates. So there's definitely going to be some different combinations for your loadouts now. If you are new around here, please take a second to hit that subscribe button but let's get into our very first loadout which includes the brand new smg the carl gustav m45 now i've got to be honest this is a pain in the backside um to unlock three sliding kills uh in 15 different matches however based off the blueprint that i've used uh, a whole bunch already this thing slaps it's very very hard hitting and with that health pool being increased you're gonna get some very fast time to kills especially if you're hitting those upper chest and headshots um and it's so easy there's almost no recoil it's a great sniper support weapon as well or just running around rebirth um i feel like once we even get a better build than this it's gonna be even better but right now the blueprint is is really fun to use it's pretty good um as well uh, but we can expect to see that in the meta so i thought i'd include it in here Next, we've got the Cooper Carbine. The Cooper Carbine has had an increase to its bullet velocity, something which I feel has it's always struggled with. Um, on the build, you want the MX Sciencer, 22-inch Cooper Custom Barrel, the G16 2.5 times optic, Cooper 45W stock, tight grip, fully loaded, the polymer grip, the 9mm 60-round drum mag, lengthened, and then the M1941 hand stop. Serpentine is the brand new perk that has been added with Season 3 Reloaded, uh, which means that when you're running around, you're going to take 20% less damage from incoming fire. So that's when you're sprinting. So this is going to help, especially on Caldera. I don't know if it's going to be as dominant in Rebirth as you don't have as many large open areas, so you're not getting picked off from a distance. However, 20% extra health. If you fully plated, fully healed, that means you're going to have 360 health rather than 300. So you can take an extra bullet or two. Um, so a pretty nice perk. Uh, I think it's going to get mixed up with double time a bit but we'll see i don't know if it's going to be a must pick uh but on cold era you might be leaning towards it a little bit more then uh my second loadout we've got the armor guerrera this has definitely become the top of the uh, to the top of the meta now after nerfs to like the owen gun the well gun and the larger health pools uh because obviously you get that large 60 round mag now you've got people with more health larger round guns um like the armor guerrera are going to become kind of higher up in the game's meta i think you're going to see a lot of like higher mag S uh, assault rifles as well but the recoil booster for the muzzle the body 570 70 millimeter precision uh barrel the mm largo optic the immersio sa folding stock hard scope quick polymer grip the nine millimeter 60 round mag lengthened and then the m1941 hand stop paired with that we've got the vargo which um outside is up the, to be honest, one of two assault rifles out of Vanguard that are now in the meta. Uh, Modern Warfare assault rifles and Cold War assault rifles have just been nerfed into the ground, which I kind of think is a bit odd. Um, it's a bit of a weird decision, but you know what? I guess Vanguard is the kind of marketing game this year. But if you want a Cold War assault rifle, the Vargo is probably going to be one of the ones you want to go for. Gru suppressor, 18.6 inch task force barrel, actual arms three times, Spetnaz grip and the 45 round drum, uh, 45 round mag. Uh, and then same perks and kind of lethals and tacticals for everything. Moving on, we've got the MP40. And also, I think the big surprise of this season, um, the season three reload update. But recoil booster, short barrel, Causing ISO 2M. Remember, you can put the slate reflector on there if you want. Remove stock, brace, which I know there's a huge problem with these perks. You might want to go for steady instead because brace doesn't seem to do anything on the MP40. Quick, stipple grip tape, the 45 round Gorenko mag, subsonic so you stay off radar. It's got quite high bullet velocity anyway. And then the M1941 hand stop. Um, I actually really, really enjoy using this SMG. I haven't used it as much recently um, just because I have been having a ton of fun with a well gun, but definitely one of the guns that you should have in your loadouts and now let's get onto the gun that i'm actually most excited about you may remember when vanguard first came out i was a big advocate for the bar but the mag size just made it like it just made it not viable like the bar right has had a ton of changes like oh i, I i'm just gonna read this first of all right headshot damage multiplier has been increased to 1.85 if you're hitting those headshots People are going to drop so quickly. And like from what I've played already, like you get those shots and you're going to pick up so many kills. It's definitely more of a skill weapon. If you've got a good accuracy, 
accuracy and you know that you can hit those upper chest and headshots, go for the BAR. MX Sciencer, CGC 30XL barrel, three to six times optic, so you can zoom in and kind of get those headshots at a distance. Carry it WR stock, hard scope, fully loaded, polymer grip, the 40 round mag. So good to say 40 round mag. It's like an AMAX now. Uh, lengthened and then the M1941 hand stop. Uh, I go for the 40 round because the higher fire rate. So you kind of have a bigger margin for error. Then uh, with that, I had that MP40. Next, we have the Owen gun with no barrel, right? I think this is becoming quite popular at the moment. Recoil booster, NIDA model. You can obviously go for the slate reflector. That's all personal preference. Remove stock, fleet, quick, stippled. The 72 round Gorenko mag, uh, lengthened. Um, you can also go for, obviously, for the uh, the nine millimeter, the sorry, the eight millimeter round as well. I just kind of stick with the 72. And the Mark VI skeletal underbarrel. Um, and then obviously the best gun, hands down, in Warzone right now, the STG. This is the top of the meta. Everything around it has been nerfed. The XM4, which competed with it, nerfed. Um, the BAR has kind of been brought into kind of line with it to compete um, if you're hitting those headshots. But MX Sciencer, VDD 760mm barrel, uh, 2.5, VDD 27 precision. I personally use sleight of hand when I'm playing on a Rebirth, uh, but you could go for acrobatic as well if you want some extra movement speed. That's up to you. Uh, fully loaded polymer grip, the 50 round mag, of course, lengthened, and the M1941 hand stop. Um, that's that loadout. Now, if we move on, the next setup that you might want to use, the well gun has had a slight nerf to its fire rate from the Gawain short barrel. Um, still very good. One of the best SMGs in the game. Still a uh, very small TTK drop, especially with the health pool. Now, I want you guys to remember as well, like these guns have a low kind of smaller mag size with a higher fire rate. They're going to struggle taking multiple enemies out. I would stop using these in like trios and quads, especially on Rebirth, uh, because you're going to run out of bullets very quickly and might not have enough ammo to be able to take everyone out. And I think that's why people will start leaning towards the Armour Guerrera and the Owen gun still over guns like the well gun and the mp40 so something to keep in mind you're going to win 1v1 fights quite easily with this thing but if you take it on multiple opponents you may struggle from an ammo perspective but recoil booster gawain short state reflector remove stock acrobatic quick polymer grip Gorenko 40 round mag lengthened and then the m1941 hand stop uh, and then that is paired with the automaton which i think we all know one of the best assault rifles out there it has been for a long long time now high fire rate huge mag size um great on caldera to be perfectly honest with you and it works on rebirth quite well as well mx zack 600 bfa three to six times as says your padded tight grip fully loaded polymer grip 75 round drum lengthened and then the m1941 hand stop as well um next we've got my sniper class i kind of put the uh carl gustav in there because it's a really good sniper support SMG. As I said, it's hard hitting, has good damage at range, um, and is also very good at uh, up close to getting those headshots. So very good sniper support SMG. And then we've got the ZRG, which is, to be honest, in my opinion, the best sniper right now. Sound moderator, 43.9 inch combat recon barrel, swap 5 MW laser, 5 round mag, and then the serpent wrap. Um, and then if we move on, we've got the kind of fun setup that I think a lot of people will start using because the Volk has got some nice buffs once again uh but the scg just because it's the best assault rifle and then we've got this high mobility volk which you might have seen a lot of people like joe uh using it's just got incredible mobility and the volk got a headshot damage multiplier increase um it also got a neck damage multiplier increase ads movement speed increase uh decreased by five percent but the ads movement speed was reduced by 25 percent down from 30 so it had a little bit of a mobility pop but a damage increase um so still going to be really really good and gun ho with that like sprint to fire unreal it means that if you're using serpentine you can kind of have, be sprinting at someone still be firing whilst getting da the damage but uh, the uh, damage reduction bonus so very 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 good um next for our eight float out we've got the as44 which is one of my tempered setups this is very got a very fast time to kill um really fun up close really good on rebirth island Recoil booster, 615 millimeter, slate reflector, Zach skeletal, gun ho, on hand polymer, the 60 round Russian short mag, lengthened, and the M1941 hand stop. Uh, the Diamati pistol there as well. Best secondary in the game right now, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, and then for our one of our final setups, we've got the QBZ. This is alongside the Vargo, the other Black Ops Cold War assault rifle that is viable in Warzone right now. Um, and even though not many people use it, it's definitely worth doing. Agency suppressor, 15.5 inch task force barrel, actual arms, three times optic, field agent grip, the 45 round drum mag. Uh, and then, yeah, I, I thought I, I thought I'd be honest. Explosives are ridiculous right now. No one is running EOD. 
Um, and it pains me to say it, but if you're going to get some easy kills uh, and I'm going to hate you for it, the uh, Panzerfaust is, is one of the ways to, to, to do it. And I'm, I'm ashamed of, um, of it, of even putting it in this video. But you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm honest, right? And if being honest is bad, let me know in the comments. Um, but yes, uh, and I've got another tempered setup, which is the Cooper Carbine that I had earlier. So I've got options if I want to go for like a pick a second loadout whilst I'm playing. That can, of course, include Ghost or whatever other like perk setup that you want to run. But those are my top 10 loadouts. Let me know anything down in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new and smash the thumbs up button. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.